Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Another day. It was raining a bit this week, but today was nice. Okay, this video is save money, low cost meal preps for beginners that just want to avoid weight gain. Or if you want to lose weight, but I start going to the gym. We all know we're supposed to be prepping meals so bad things don't happen. So I, of course, didn't want to do anything I was supposed to. And I walked straight in the house and I, and I ate four giant cookies. Chocolate chip peanut butter cookies. And I thought, you are going to prep your meals, put them in the refrigerator, and no more. Okay, if you've ever watched uh, bodybuilders prep meals it looks so easy and it is kind of easy probably once you start doing it it is easier so what is kind of really good let's see is this is a good way to eat your food down and avo avoid wasting food oh see my flower arrangements I kind of revamped my um, Christmas decorations to enjoy them a little bit. So I have a plate for tonight and I have one, two, so it's going to be four preps. And I'm drinking Diet Pepsi. I got the Diet Pepsi at Walgreens for 50 cents a bottle. That's a good deal. That's why I bought it. Okay, so the first one is going to be a taco salad because my son does this and they were they were making taco salads and I thought, okay, that sounds really kind of good. So I have some uh, taco meat and some rice. And in the taco meat, I bought a pound of hamburger for five dollars so each portion of meat's about 125 and then I also bought one pound of oh no turkey burger so that is going to be eight meals I bought these uh this meat mainly for uh prepping meals so, okay, so I think I could make bigger uh, meat portions if um, I don't want to make too much. I want to eat, I want to eat what I make. So I fried my meat in a little oil and then I put some um, dry onion. I put it here so I could find it some garlic salt and some mexican style chili powder and some pepper so one of the things i want to start doing is measuring my food so i think cooked a uh, one pound would be about a half a cup per serving so let's see so So since I'm having the rice, I could have my keto, um, my keto, um, tortillas, but, uh, I found out a good portion of, of, uh, rice is for bodybuilders is, um, is three tablespoons. And I think three tablespoons should make about three quarters of a cup of rice per four, four of them. So we'll see what happens here. So one, uh, this is a quarter cup, two, yeah, that's what I thought, three, Four. So when you get older, one of the things I think you really kind of want, if this meal is a little bit heavy, that's fine. I'll eat it. I'll just, you know, put it in the refrigerator and I'll just eat it later. So it turns out that three tablespoons of rice 
is about one cup. And then I want to eat out of my stockpile. So I have black beans and I have corn. So um, these are about uh, one cup. So I think it would be about um, what I do with my... I lost my blue, oh, here it is, about a quarter cup. So, um, as you get older, I don't know about you guys, but I don't think it's desirable. Like in the, in the day back when I was young, uh, I would uh, whip myself into shape. But at this age, that is just, I'm just going to divide it in four equal portions. So, okay, I'm not going to be starving. I could have actually made maybe about six meals, but if there's two, that's okay. I'll eat. I'll eat it later. Okay, so the for the canned food, so if I paid a dollar for this, this would cost a quarter. And then the same thing with the rice. So um, for these would be seven servings, but I'm getting about four. And so what I will do is I will put these in the refrigerator. And, uh, you know, when I get home from the gym, instead of, uh, you know, eating four cookies, I'll get one of my meals. So uh, these could be my main, I usually eat two meals, but these could literally be two meals. Because these are pretty big meals, depending, of course, how much you eat. So, uh, if you're new to meal prepping, I don't think I made this in, in an hour. Okay, so three tomatoes. Uh, because when I buy, um, when I buy uh, salads, it's always three tomatoes. And it's going to be um, five olives because that's the serving size I mean it took me 10 minutes to locate the cans and uh, <laughs> and open them <laughs> so I wasn't going too fast four or five all right two three four five uh -oh. I like olives, so, you know, I'll have no problems eating these. Okay, five olives. So now this could be tuna fish. Uh, the ladies at the gym were telling me that they buy Costco um, chicken and they tear it up. So that would be good. Okay, so now I have my homemade uh, cream cheese. So that's good on uh, tacos. I also have yogurt that I made just a little bit. Uh, what I think one thing I have been doing is going way too heavy on the cheese. So I told you guys how to make this. And then I have some uh, salsa. I have okay if you buy spinach or this kale mix it's gonna last you a lot longer and it's more versatile than lettuce and you can for breakfast you can uh, put a little I'm not big on breakfast but sometimes I do eat in the middle of the night and I count that as breakfast but you can put a little of uh, spinach in a pan and then put a couple, they eat a lot of egg whites. But okay, so these are nice and healthy. And then I have salad dressing, but you guys, I didn't take it out. So then uh, what I did is I bought these today, 10 of them. 
I watch the videos and they're always running out of these and they say they don't last. So I bought 10 and this, I was eating this last night. This is some orange jello sugar free with homemade yogurt. So that's tonight. And so then these three, I will pop those into the refrigerator. Actually, you know, uh, it was quite the mess. I think these bodybuilders have girlfriends making their <laughs> I have my suspicions. Okay, so uh, let's get a picture of my first my first meal prep. I'm gonna when I eat these, then I'm going to uh, do another one. So okay, now. I could lower the carbs. Don't attack me, I'm new to this. I could uh, make more lettuce and I could make more uh, meat and I could lower the carbs. But I like this combination of carrots, black beans and rice straight out of the, um, the stockpile with some Diet Coke. So I was having my fun on the um, flower arrangements and I need a few provisions for my flower. I need some wire cutters and I need various assortments of flowers. But for now, these look pretty. Okay, so now, today I was at the gym and I'm very resistant to doing what they tell me. And I go, yeah, that's why no one's in good shape. One of the things, believe it or not, and this sounds stupid, like the people at the gym will look at me like, are you crazy? But I have an aversion to gym clothes. I think I look terrible in them. But I thought, you're going to go to the thrift store. You're going to buy gym clothes. You're going to put them on. You're going to wear them to the gym. And then you're going to take them off and go about your life. Another thing, I hate sweating. And I hate getting messed up. And I hate getting dirty. So I have pretty much been able to do that. And so I was talking to the girl. And she's, I said, this is going to take two hours a day. She goes, it takes dedication. I thought, yeah, that is true. Now, and I was thinking about, you know, when I shop for vintage luxury items, I can shop all day just to find one item. So what I am trying to do is build a luxury um, item inventory, $100,000. And I said to my brother, my luxury items are driving me insane. He goes, you should, you should open a thrift store. And I thought, are you kidding? I spent my life in a thrift store. So what I want to do, and you know what? Bodybuilding or exercising is not expensive. This is not expensive at all. And it's no waste. So I removed some of the things to show you what I do for a living. So, um, one of the most loved items in the whole wide world is the pink Chanel purse. So what I did, what I do is I shop around for things that, this is a uh, Betsy Johnson that resemble them. If somebody, I, I usually sell these things to younger women. And then I bought a juicy couture uh, wallet to go with this. And then I put an express uh, bracelet in here. And then you saw this loveliness. So now this stuff is as good as cash. But this is good as life in the future. So, you, you know, you don't die. So this is also a Betsy Johnson purse. And it's in pristine condition. And what I do is I just hang on to them. And this is like very cute, especially on the right girl, which is like all the young girls. They're all the right girl. They're, I have was telling the girls at the gym that I have funny stories. Like I will sell like some kind of purse. It doesn't have to be expensive and they'll say how much and I sell it low. They will literally give me the money and run like I'm going to change my mind. So now I can do that all day, but two hours in the gym, no, I don't want to. 
All right, I came up with a good, okay, I'm not a very dedicated, and I don't like protein drinks, and I think they taste horrible, but these are pretty good, and these are 220 calories with the milk. I thought, I'm going to buy big boxes of these. I tried to save myself with one of these when I came in from the gym, but it, I was too hungry. And then, like, for breakfast, I bought this kind of cereal. This is really nutritious with milk. And then I mentioned to you guys, okay, so you need some nuts and some fish. So, like, two boiled eggs, a can of tuna, and some rice is a good meal. And you need some nuts and some fish. So I bought this. This is two and three-quarter pound nuts, mostly peanuts that I bought for $7.99, and I thought, what a deal. Well, one of the lady bodybuilders had oatmeal, um, walnuts, and pineapple in its own juice. So I got these today. This is for next month. I have made tons of stuff out of the uh, peanuts. And so I think this is a better deal. I think Walmart, I mean, walnuts is a little bit better choice for me than peanuts and then i bought um another box of these and i bought two boxes of this so i would have plenty of tea so the meal prep for the first one was pretty successful so tea um taco salad, jello and yogurt, and no cookies, because I already ate the cookies. That was very neurotic. Okay, so now, this week until the 7th, I'm going, spending practically no money. Although I did buy a pair of uh, shoes at the gym, because I've been mashing my uh, shoes down somehow. I don't know how. Normally, I will go months, and I walk around in circles, but maybe because your feet get hot or something. So I got a nice pair of tennis shoes with laces at Target today. But for the rest of the week until the 7th, I'm basically not spending any money. Now, next week, from the 7th to the 14th, I want to reduce the, the grocery money Let's say if my grocery money was $50 a week, I want to reduce that by $12.50. That would leave me $37.50. But if a majority of your meal is from the stockpile and all you have to do is buy a few veggies, that, that'll be easy to do. And if you have some food in the house. Okay, so, and then on the next week, I will reduce the spending by 50%. So say on fifty dollars, um, $50, I would reduce to $25. So that's a little bit more uh, drastic than uh, the 25% at $12.50. But I could take my $12.50 and add it to the $25, which will give me $37. And I would still have my 50%. And then on the last month, day of the month, is 75% um, reduction. So how that could be achieved is by going to the food, food bank or food pantry. In uh, California, there is plenty of food. And so what you can get is you can get a majority of uh, vegetable foods. So I might do that. And then at the first week, I start over the first week spending li very little money. So you have your food pantry money. Because I do not believe that the, the recession is ending. Quite the contrary. Okay, so now, so I, I will show you my uh, food prepping and my... Um, spending as we go along so uh the no spend will go on unless like i had to buy gas okay so now i'm looking for large cans of food like at two dollars for the large soup for the large meals uh i couldn't find any today 
I I want to I want to watch the price of that food that it's around two dollars or close. I want to check the Best Buy, and I don't want to buy any food that expires sooner than 2025. That is the luxury of having a stockpile. I want to check the origin of the food. Where did this food come from? Did this food come from Mexico? Maybe I want to buy food from the U.S. Okay, uh, I want to watch the quality of the food. Because it's no cheaper. Okay, um, and I want to inspect the, the shelves for is how much food is there is it just a little canned food or is it a lot or is it a high price a lot of times they have deals like buy 10 you know get the good price buy five get the good price something like that which i don't want to do i like to buy two at a time i want to buy cans of fruit i want to make sure i have milk and another thing that is crazy expensive is potato chips so potato chips are like potatoes. So if you're eating a sandwich, you could meal prep sandwiches. Like you could put, you know, you could get the packages of tuna and you could load a lot of veggies on it. So that's another way. But I think this is, you're coming, you know, you're, you're upping your consumption of energy. Uh, I think one of the things people get uh, addicted to is the energy that you generate. I, I don't really like generating energy because I like conserving all my energy because I used to uh, work three jobs. So my job was to make sure I had enough energy to do all my jobs. So this is new to me, but I can see why people like it. Okay, so uh, then I want to buy big bags like this. So this is going to be enough nuts for me to eat tons of nuts all next month. In the days, my grandmother used to, I can remember sitting at the kitchen table cracking nuts. Big bags of rice, beans, flour, sugar, salt and pepper, powdered milk, oil, dry fruit like raisins, nuts, peanuts. Uh, I went peanuts last month uh, I'm going to try to find these big bags of either like cashews or walnuts. We'll see what I find. Potatoes, oatmeal, uh, cornmeal to make cornbread to go with the beans, and baking powder. Let me give you a shot of this in case you might want to try to pick up. I think the good thing to do is keep stocking up a little bit at a time. Um... The meal prep today was kind of a sudden inspiration, so I'm going to be looking for one pound packages. So if I was going to make enough for two weeks, I would need about uh, two pounds of meat. Or you could buy a big chicken and just, you know, measure that out. Okay, there has been reports that they may do away with the free phones. So what they're going to do is start cutting costs. Uh, the, some people are going to lose their free medical and be charged uh, $300 a month. Some people may lose their WIC. And there's going to be uh, less assistance for Social Security. So if you call up and you have a question, it's going to be harder for you to get a live person on the phone. So we want to be aware of these cuts. Uh, this This month I had a little increase like... California is now making the sewage into drinking water. They're calling it toilet tap. So I'm adding a uh, bottle of water because I don't want to drink that. Okay. So then the other thing I want to do is make yogurt, make butter, make cream cheese. Uh, you know, it's cheaper and you're going to eat better. And, um, also, this would be good, like when we used to come in from school, we would like have a peanut butter sandwich or something. But if you had kids, wouldn't it be better to have, you know, I mean, not this big, but little uh, meals prepped for them? Okay. No.
So back to the, the, you know, back to the cutting of food, cutting of uh, amounts of money spent on the food. How you do that is by um, eating out of your stockpile. So one of the things you can do is you can look around for deals on the big cans of, of meals. Like you, if you had canned chili, that would be good with rice, or you could have macaroni and cheese and peas and, you know, the, the salad part with some kind of meat in the middle. I mean, the possibilities are um, endless. Also, lettuce wraps, you know, with hamburgers, you know, just cutting the carbs a little bit are... Um, really helpful and buying f right now what i think the thing to do is buy big bags full-size cans at you know when they're on sale um also pork and beans are good with eggs like it would be easy to make pork and beans with boiled eggs with toast keto toast something like that i'm going to be working on that Another thing that's good is the packaged meals, uh, you know, like the Alfredo or the Spanish rice. This could be Spanish rice, refried beans, and Mexicorn, or the other one's good is mixed vegetables. And as soon as I get space, I will buy uh, frozen vegetables for my meal preps. So then I can eat a small meal of cereal and milk or sandwich like that later on. But this is actually a very large meal. So you're not going to fall into overeating when you have these um, big meals. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all.